Hello ladies and gentlemen, non road user here again. Um, as you can probably see, I'm currently looking at um, Alison Huggins' Twitter page. And, um, where are we? Uh, 26th of September 2014, at 3.38pm, Alison Huggins uh, tweeted out, a conversation that uh, I'd been conducting with a gentleman called Ian Blades who seems to have some connection to the Labour Party in Middlesbrough. What that connection is I'm not quite sure but let's go up to the top of this page and view part of the conversation. Um, this is, the first one is my uh, original tweet, two of two. Um, the first tweet was asking Mr. Blades um, if he knew uh, if the Labour, at Labour doorstep Twitter account was an official Labour Party account. You know, it could be people can open spoof accounts, I guess, so... I wanted to clarify that, but I'll come on to that in a moment. Um, my second question, which is this tweet number two of two, was if lab at Labour, Labour doorstep visit, do they respect a homeowner's no call call signs? And the reply from Ian Blades was, we are warm, I don't leaflet drop into houses that have that request would not knock either. My response to that was, thank you Mr Blades, that's good to know. Are you able to answer my question in tweet number one? Question mark. Response from Mr Blades, no mate, sorry, I have no idea who uses that Twitter account. Now, as I say, what connection Mr Blades has to the Labour Party, I'm not sure. But he is displaying, as you can see, a Labour logo next to his Twitter account. So, for me, that indicates that he does have some connection with the party. So, uh, my response to uh, that tweet from Mr Blage was, In that case, I wonder if at Labour doorstep is a fake account. I will ask at ed hyphen uh, sorry, Ed underscore Milliband. He should know the answer. No reply equals fake. So, in that tweet, what I'm really saying at the end is, if Ed Milliband doesn't respond to my tweet, then I will take it that the at Labour doorstep Twitter account is a fake slash spoof account. Okay? Um, because I'm assuming that the leader of the Labour Party, as Ed Miliband currently is, he should be able to either know or find out the answer to that question. I think that's, that's a fair statement, would you not say, ladies and gentlemen? Now then, at this juncture, uh, Alice Huggan has jumped into the conversation and tweeted... I wouldn't believe a word Ian says, he is known to tell porkies. Well, obviously I can't substantiate that statement. Um, I replied to Alison and Ian Blades as well as included in the uh, in this tweet. The, sorry, um, time will tell I guess. I'm still waiting to hear from Ed Miliband re if at Labour doorstep is a genuine lab account. And Alison Huggan has replied, do let us know the outcome. Um, my next tweet, I am giving Mr Miliband seven days to reply. If no reply, I will take it that at Labour doorstep is a fake slash spoof account. Mr Blades then replied, 
I guess he will be really worried about that. Dot 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 dot. My response I don't think he will be. Ed will probably just block me on Twitter like his mate Tom did. Wink. That's a reference to uh, Tom being Tom Blenkinsop, my uh, Labour MP for this area, who blocked me from his uh, Twitter account. Uh, Ian Blades then responds to that, Abuse isn't really very nice on Twitter. My reply to that was, I agree Mr Blades and I don't think I have ever sorry I don't think I have abused anyone ever I am always quite polite unless you know different Mr Blades responds not knowing you I wouldn't suggest for a second that you have been abusive my response is then could you explain why you said quote Abuse isn't really very nice on Twitter, unquote, when I mentioned Tom had blocked me, question mark, bit confused. Mr. Blades responds, just pointing out a fact. My reply, oh I see, you thought I did not already know that abuse isn't really very nice on Twitter, and felt a need to enlighten me, got it. Now, I find this whole um, at Labour doorstep Twitter account to be very strange because as you can see I've just switched to it now. This is as it is now as of when I'm making this video, right? Labour doorstep, um, picture of a square with a egg shaped thing in it looks like to me. Uh, at Labour doorstep, join Twitter, May 2009, followers 154, more lists. I cannot find, ladies and gentlemen, any tweets on this account at all. Okay, now look. People who've, who've seen my videos on YouTube before and seen my ugly face will know that I am um, what people or some people might call a silver surfer, okay? Sorry, quick slurp of my lemonade here. Um, I'm, I'm an old guy, right? I'm, I'm not down with the kids on the street with this internet stuff, okay? But I know a little bit and I know enough to kind of find my way around things. And I just cannot find any tweets. If, if somebody can correct me on this, then, then please feel free to do so. I just cannot find any tweets made from or, or to this at Labour doorstep Twitter account. What is going on? It's, it's like um, some, well, this is my opinion, obviously. Excuse me. <coughs> it seems like some um, secret society, you know? Um, you know, like, um, maybe, maybe you need... Uh, a secret handshake or something to, to, to get into this stuff um, may, maybe you need to follow them and then like everything will then become visible or, or what I, I, I just do not get it I just do not get it at all okay it's it's very peculiar I find you know maybe it's just me maybe maybe I'm the oddball here and you know, people have called me a lot worse, so, you know, if you want to call me an oddball, I'll take that, that's fine. But, I, I just cannot understand why there's this Twitter account from May 2009 purporting to be Labour doorstep, and, and not one single tweet is showing up. Just, 
nothing, it's a black hole, it's just, you know, what is the point? And, like, I go back to, um, wait a minute, let's, let's go back to it, um, where are we? Yeah, there we are. Ian Blades. No, mate, sorry. I have no idea who uses that Twitter account. Note the Labour Party logo. Note the tweet to Ed Miliband. Yeah? And I sent him a separate tweet of this as well, by the way, which, you know, obviously I'm not showing you now. Uh, I could I could screw around and find it, but personally I can't be bothered at the moment. But take it from me, Ed Miliband will, or whoever runs Ed Miliband's account on Twitter, you know, I'm probably not that naive to think that Ed Miliband sat there with a an iPhone or a tablet in his hand, you know, thing, oh yeah, I've got a uh, tweet here from, you know, non-road user, oh, it's that crank again, what's he on about this time, you know what I mean, right? He's probably got some guy managing it all for him, or, or some woman managing it all, you know. But the, 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 the point I'm trying to make is, over this uh, out labour doorstep, I, I just do not comprehend why there seems to be this what I perceive as uh, secrecy and I'm, I'm kind of wanting to get to the bottom of it all first of all is it a genuine Labour Party Twitter account that's my first question to whoever and I'll probably call the Labour Party up on Monday but um, interestingly, I've just I've just been at the Labour Party's website, and they have as a contact phone number an 0845 number. Now, I was under the impression that under EU regulations that were passed recently, that uh, any any company or whatever, maybe it doesn't apply to political parties, it certainly doesn't apply to financial institutions, I've found that out, right? But here's an example, right? LBC Radio, uh, who have just gone national, it used to be LBC, uh, London's biggest conversation, the now LBC leading Britain's conversation, right? Their phone number used to be 0845 6060 973. Now then, because of these changes in the regulations, that they changed that prefix area code, well, not an area code, but you know what I mean, right, to 0345, right, uh, charged at the local call rate. Now, I'm just wondering why the Labour Party wants potential people calling them up to pay on the telephone charges an 0845 rate. That's another thing that's con there's lots of things that confuse me about the Labour Party at the moment, right? And I even haven't even started talking about their leader, right? So that's a whole different subject in itself. So anyway, look, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop there because I've been rabbiting it on for quite a while now, I guess. Um, so I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put this up on YouTube now. And um, I would be very grateful. I'll tweet it out, I think, as well. Uh, the link to the video and, you know, the people that follow me. Ian Blades is one of them. But why he follows me, I have no idea. Probably, you know... Well, I'm not even going to go there. Um, so, I'll put this up on YouTube. If anybody can shed any light on the things that I've raised in this video, please do so, either via Twitter or the YouTube comments. I'll be very interested because, you know, this general election 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is is coming up um, very soon, right? It, it's you know it, we're not that far away from it, and um, it seems to me that um, the political parties, not just Labour, but you know all the political parties, are starting to ramp up their um, um, what's the word? Uh, campaigns, if you want to call it that, right? Um, to get people to vote for them. Now, I would have thought, sorry, I, I said I was going to close, but I've decided to wrap it on a little bit more. I would have thought that when somebody like myself sends a tweet to at Ed Miliband, right? If, they, if that guy thinks, well, you know, obviously it, it seems to me that he's not interested in my vote because, you know, I would, I mean, that was about, what, a couple of days ago, right? And I've heard nothing. Um, and a couple of days on Twitter, I guess, is a long time, you know? Um, given, you know, the platform, it's kind of pretty much immediate, isn't it, you know? Certainly within 24 hours, uh, I think, on Twitter is a reasonable amount of time to expect a response, right? Um, 48 hours is kind of saying to me, you know, I'm not interested, right? And yet, this is the guy who you know, wants someone's vote. And, you know, he's, he's not coming back to me. I've asked him a legitimate question. Is the Labour Doorstep Twitter account a genuine Labour Party account? You know, it's a reasonable question, ladies and gentlemen. Is it not? OK? Nothing. Zilch. Zero. No response thus far. Don't get it. Don't, don't, just do not get it. At all. Very strange. But, there you go. That's politics. I'm not a user. I'm going now. Catch you all later, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.